What's up everybody? Welcome to a new YouTube video. Today we're going to be talking about Hatchful on Shopify. So a lot of my viewers I don't think know about Hatchful and even a lot of uh, Shopify users don't know about Hatchful. Uh, Hatchful is not one of those websites that are well known. It's Hatchful.Shopify.com and basically it's a service that Shopify offers completely for free for you to create your own logo. So let's go ahead and take take a look at it, and we're going to create some logos here and use them in one of our old websites. I don't know if you guys remember this website. This was a website where we uh, created lighting products for our um, for our uh, lighting store here, and uh, I just showed this. I used this uh, theme here. This is the Wolf of Shopify theme to just kind of show people how things work, set things up, and uh, why not use this very store or uh, theme rather uh, to show you guys how to uh, set things up uh, before we do just because this looks a little funky let me just go ahead and click on this here and let me exit this let me select the second image this looks a little odd so I'll just uh, kinda save my changes here here I have my logo on the left uh, this is the original Wolf of Shopify theme uh, Obviously, it, does, it looks a little off right now because everything is kind of, a, uh, the, all the settings are kind of out of whack. I got to set up the settings properly, but if you guys want to check it out, uh, kind of follow me through the process. So let's go ahead and click here, get started on Hatchful, um, and let's select what kind of uh, brand this is. So is it a fashion brand? No. Health and Beauty? No. Home and Garden? Maybe Home and Garden, maybe, because it's a home style product since it's lighting. Uh, food and Drink? Sports and recreation, gifts and collectibles, tech. We have art, photos, children, games. Let's go ahead and select home and garden for the first one. Let's hit select next. And I like um, I like this vintage maybe look. Let's click on that and let's call the business. Let's call it lighting. Right. So lighting and the slogan. I'm just gonna leave it empty. Let's go ahead and select next. And this is for an online store, of course. So let's hit continue and see we have different logos here. So this cool logo, I like the way it looks. We can change the font here, right? We could change the font like this or like this or like this. We have colors, so we can change different colors, right? And uh, I like this color here. We have icons that we can change. Um, so maybe if there's like a, um, um, you know, maybe like some sort of light bulb would be pretty cool as the uh, icon so let's just see if I could find anything like that like a light bulb or or some sort of light so that would be pretty cool I could you know like a moon and I could hit the download logo button and all I have to do is put in my information so I'm gonna pause real quick and uh, download the logo okay so I'm back with my logos here and I have them all downloaded. Uh, just a little bit note to self, guys. Uh, after you download your logos from their website, uh, they do take a little while to get to your email address. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but now we're going to go ahead and edit the logo on our website. So let's go ahead and click here on our main logo image. And let's just simply drag and drop the logo that we want to use. And they come with different uh, images here. And you could see here it's finally uploaded so that's exactly how it looks so if you're a beginner who's trying to create a basic logo for your website yeah they might not be the very best logos on the street but you know it's free and you can't be free um, at least for majority of the people who are starters now something that I do want to say because you guys know I always like to analyze uh, Shopify stores and things like that is that a logo is not going to be the reason why somebody buys or somebody does not buy okay now, yes, it has to do with brand image, and you always want to put the best foot forward. But if you had a set budget, your ideal set budget, um, you wouldn't want to use that money on the logo necessarily for the first thing, okay? Your logo shouldn't be your main focus. Your logo should be kind of something that's one of the last things that are being done for your store. The main focus of your store should literally be your optimization conversion rate. I tell this to people all the time who watch the YouTube channel, but focus on your theme focus on the products that you're offering the descriptions you know the content on the website these are the things that are gonna help you uh, you know get a hundred people and convert 10 out of them as opposed to 1 or 0.1 or 0.4 
okay a lot of the people's conversion rates that I see on YouTube are in half of percentile uh, like like a single like half of a percent literally uh, and those conversion rates are absolutely terrible because that would mean that for every hundred people you send you wouldn't even have the chance or it would be a 50 50 shot to convert one single person now if you do the math on that the average cost per click to a website is over two dollars so you would be spending two to three hundred dollars just to send one person to your website or a consumer to your website and there would be a 50 percent shot of you know uh, them converting so if i had something to say to everybody is don't focus too much on your logo your logos are very basic i like to use text-based logos like this like you know kind of just words and just slap them on and they're easy to use and they're simple um and they can actually look a little bit classy in certain moments okay uh but you know don't try to waste energy on things that don't matter when it comes down to building your store right i'll talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe and also check out my other videos if you want more information on conversion rate optimization i'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching peace